I felt compelled today to do this video about the pallet recycling business because there are some key points I want to cover that I didn't want to leave the chance for you folks that are looking into this. My name is John Wilker. I'm owner of the Simplest Biz Training, which is about pallet recycling on your local level. And there's three key points I want to make today that are keys to success with the pallet industry and the pallet recycling business the way I teach it. And that those three aspects are volume, efficiency, and profits. Okay? And we're going to cover three separate posts from students that are in the private Facebook group um, that have taken the training and help you understand these three aspects because they are keys to success and they are keys to freedom for your life as far as time freedom and money freedom if you understand these concepts and what we're trying to get you to. That's my why. Get you to a point where you're not having to work all day and cutting your efficiency down. I mean, you know, you know increasing your efficiency, should I say, to make it where your life is more endurable and you're not chained to a J-O-B uh, 16 hours a day, okay? So look at the picture that you see right here on the screen and just understand there's plenty of people out there that think the pallet recycling business is grabbing five here and 10 there by, behind a uh, retail store and, and, and stacking those up and then selling to a pallet yard and only dealing with one size pallet. In this case, this is a business up north. Uh, that's what it said in the post. I had to scratch some stuff out here because it's proprietary information. But this is a business that is trying to get rid of these pallets. And actually, in this case, I believe they're free because uh, there's such a volume and they're overtaking their property. They need them gone. So that's where we come in as pallet flippers and recyclers if you know how to set the deal up in the right way and realize this is just a continuing process of a pallet. But look at the volume here that you see on the screen. There's probably 30 stacks of 20, three rows deep, maybe more, but let's just say three. In fact, it's more. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's the same picture. So that's like five rows deep. So let's do a little math here and see what kind of life-changing money or profits are involved in this particular situation that we, we have here. 30 rows times five is 150 times 20. So 150 stacks times 20, 150 times 20 equals around 3,000 pallets. So we have 3,000 pallets. So we're gonna multiply that out at seven dollars per piece per unit it's twenty one thousand dollars again we're not having to lift these we're perfectly good shape we're not having to repair them we're going straight from the supplier to the buyer so we're not storing them they're lifting the pallets again you know for us and they're unloading it at, at our buyer so volume and knowing how to access volumes of pallets comes to huge profits in this business model. It's not complicated, but setting these deals up and knowing how to do it and knowing where this stuff is, is so important, okay? So now, since we see that this is one location has masses of amounts of pallets, and then you even have more here in, uh, in, in this section, so uh, I didn't even include these in the number to get to this $21,000 mark. Uh, you have more profit sitting here against the building. Understood? So it's so important to help your mind understand, expand your mind and understand if I learn this pallet game, what type of life-changing money could come to me in quick order in this business model. Is every place like this? No. Some places you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks, three, three deep. 21 stacks of 20. But there are all different types of scenarios out there with huge mountainous volumes of pallets for you to be able to access across this country if you learn the system, okay? So that's the first point. The next point that I wanna make has to do with efficiency. You know, when I started this business back in 1998, 
My whole goal was I don't want to work all day. I don't want to have to be a slave to this business model. I want to make money in short time frames, short chunks of time to where I can have the rest of the day to myself. Okay. Now it's a little blurry. I don't know why, but I'm gonna put my glasses on and, and help you understand what's going on here. So this happened today, and this is from Jay, a uh, student from the Simplest Biz. This happened today, picked up from supplier for blank in the size, don't even worry about that. Drove next door and sold them for $7 each, loaded and unloaded them with the company's forklift. So he's not using his own muscle power to move this. <clears throat> then he has some proprietary information, still plenty of margin to work with, and it sure beats having to hop around to multiple locations to find supply. Three deliveries today equaled $825 in profit. Keep it simple. And that's why I call it the simplest biz. Because when I realized that I could build out these routes and teach others to build out these routes in, sh in small circumferences where they live, on any given day, they can be bouncing around in a two-block, half-a-mile radius and servicing their suppliers and buyers in short order so you can go home and uh, spend more time with your wife or go to your kid's soccer game or, or whatever you want to do. Go play golf because you made the money that morning to not feel guilty about taking the rest of the day off because you made bank in short periods of time and you beat the system and that's what this is about not hype nothing like that and and let me cover this one topic as well a lot of people say well why didn't that buyer just go to that supplier people these businesses are so busy trying to fulfill their orders and it's just like anything else they want to have it off their plate they want the pallets delivered to them they don't want to source pallets they don't know how to construct these deals this is about us being that middleman, and they don't even care where it came from. They just want the pallet showing up on a consistent, regular basis where they don't have to worry about it because other than that, it's a pain in the butt for them. But they have to have the pallets or they cannot operate. They are not in the pallet business. They're not in the deal-making business. They're not in the flipping pallet business. They are fulfilling the orders of their business. That's what they do. So... I see comments all the time. Well, he could just go over there and get it himself. That is not what they're into. These deals can be constructed in tight circumferences where you can make your money in fast order and get home to do what the heck you want to do. And that's why I've been doing it for the last 25 years because that appealed to me. Quick money and time freedom. Does that appeal to you? My why is it teaches many people that, that are willing to learn how to do that for themselves and have that kind of life for themselves as well. Because I've talked to too many people that are stuck in a corporate gig or whatever, and they're being turned into dust having to work. So let's go. I want to emphasize this point again. The system, first delivery and second delivery in the same industrial park Compress time, make money, keep it simple. That's the system, people. Can you do it in a number of different ways? Yeah. But the best way to do it for quality of life for you and your family is to learn how to do this in short compressions of time. Even in the same industrial park. I've done it for the last 25 years. I would have businesses on one side of the, the building and like 300 yards away down on the other side is where I was taking them to. They didn't even care. And then even if they did, I could circle around the block and come from the different direction. It's just the nature of the game if you know what you're doing. You know how to source this stuff. And that's what I teach people how to do. So pallets aren't very sexy. I get it. But when, when you understand the volume like we went over a minute ago, that's available out there, you know, 2.7 billion ballots circulate in the United States, and the necessity of it, and then the efficiency of it, and then getting, like in this situation, we're getting them for free. Uh -oh. And even if we were paying a buck or two per piece, still the profit margins would be there, right? <clears throat> and then we're even, again, 
compressing our, our gas, the amount of gas, travel time to get our job done, make the money we want to make and live our life. I hope that appeals to you because I, I, I love my why is helping people get to that point in their life. Do you got to work to get there? Does it fall on your plate? No, but I'll give you the tools and the blueprint to get you where you need to be. TheSimplestBiz.com. Check it out. See if it's for you. If it's not, you know, move along. It's fine. I, I'm not offended. But this is some, something that, you know, a lot of people have considered the first thing they've actually seen that seems like, hey, I can do that. It's not some high tech thing where money's going to shoot out of your computer screen or something like that or affiliate marketing, whatever. Do If that appeals, you do that. But this is something tangible, real, and a necessity. And it, it's the way the world moves, people. And in this day and age, these pallets and crates and drums and dunnage and corrugated boxes and brokering of pallets, if you're in that game, it ain't going anywhere because they have not invented the anti-gravity machine to move stuff from point A to point B. And this is how it's done. Large volume, high profits, and you have a supplier continually to generate them and a buyer continually needing them over and over and over again. John Wilker, thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, but I felt it important that you know this information, absorb it to help you really understand what we're trying to get to and why I want to help the people that are willing to learn. Okay, have a good one.